Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Hershey Park. I decided to make a little road trip from Florida to Pennsylvania so I can see my family and I wanted to bring you guys along as I visit some of my favorite theme parks. I always love coming to Hershey Park. It's been my go-to park since I was a kid and they have a new roller coaster called Jolly Rancher Remix and then also some new food spots that I can't wait to try. So we're gonna eat some food, ride some rides and have a Hershey Park kind of day. Anywho, Let's go do this. This is my first time coming to Hershey Park in the new year 2022. And like I said, there's a lot of new things to cover. We have two new attractions, and then we have the Chocolate Tier restaurant that I didn't get to eat at last time, and they have some amazing food there. A lot of chocolate themed food. My sister is actually going to be hanging out with me today. My mom couldn't make it down to Hershey, but we'll see her a little bit later on. And are you excited? Oh, yeah. Are you excited for Very a fun much. day? Yep. A little Hershey Park day? Hershey Park happy. <laughs> Hershey Park has some of the biggest thrill rides in the world and I love how their height system is basically categorized by a whole bunch of different candies. So the smallest being the Hershey's uh, Miniatures, then you have Hershey's Kiss, Reese's, Hershey's, Twizzlers, and then Jolly Rancher. If you're as tall as Jolly Rancher, you can ride everything in the park. Where do you measure up on? I think you're a Jolly Rancher, aren't you? You're just, you're just there. You're just there. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm actually just there too. This is the Jolly Rancher line. <laughs> I'm not that much taller than you, but no, yeah, so this is the highest level. So that means you can ride any ride here. And they have a good mix between family uh, rides and then like extreme roller coasters. And we're going to ride some today. And like I said before, the Chocolatier is a restaurant here and they have some amazing food items. They have like Cocoa Puff short ribs and then Hershey's chocolate barbecue ribs and a lot of things that I can't wait to try. So maybe we'll try to get in a little bit later, but now I think we're gonna head straight to the park and start our day. Hershey Park always has a special place for me because I grew up in Pennsylvania and this is one of the first theme parks I've ever visited in my life and now I get to go to all these amazing theme parks and this year I'm so excited to see how many theme parks I get to go to right now I think I'm sitting at 16 theme parks and I still have a lot more to go and uh, this is number 17 just for the year so far 2022 17 theme parks I also love what they did with this front area here. If you haven't been to Hershey Park in a long time, it has drastically changed. Look, it's even got a Starbucks now. They're coming up in the world. Starbucks, I tell ya. A lot of the rides I can't actually film on, well I can't bring my camera, but I do have POV footage that I'm allowed to show you guys so that you can see what the ride experience is like. Another thing I love about Hershey Park, all of the food they have. Right now they're actually making up some kettle corn. It's sweet and salty, and the flavor of the day is cherry, but look at them back here making it. I think it is so awesome. You get to actually kind of watch a little bit. Wow, look at it, it's flying all over the place. Bonnie, you should go stand on the other side and see if you can catch one. <laughs> If this was Disney, there would be a hundred ducks right here. Look at all the popcorn on the ground. Like there would, it, it would be swarmed with ducks. And just like Disney World has its Walt Disney, Hershey Park has Milton S. Hershey, 1857 to 1945. Milton Hershey was a really successful businessman, as you can tell, he's the uh, chocolatier, and uh, he opened up a school across the street called Milton Hershey, and it's funded actually by the Hershey Company. So when you come here, you're kind of supporting that school, and it's for underprivileged kids. It's a private school, but they don't have to pay for it, and uh, it's like doing a good thing and having fun at the same time. Another cool thing is they have their own Hershey monorail. Look at this. Isn't that so awesome? It gives you a grand tour of the park. I just love it. Reese's, Kisses, a lot of good stuff. And they have their own Chick-fil-A inside the park. Eat more chicken. I think we're gonna make our way down to Jolly Rancher Remix, which is the new reimagined ride here. And I'm so excited because I've been watching it actually be built, like I've seen things online. And today's the day I'm finally gonna be able to ride. 
And here it is, the Jolly Rancher Remix. And this used to be Sidewinder, and it looks so much better. It's so bright and vibrant over here. It's two rides, actually, because you have this one right here, and then you have the uh, actual roller coaster right there. And it's kind of cool because it's just all mixed up. It's all mixed up. <laughs> It takes you all the way to the top right there, and then it drops you. Look at this. Whoa, and then you get to go in the party zone. How awesome is that? I don't think I can film on this ride, but I might be able to get some POV footage that I'll put in there for you. But it looks like a lot of fun. I'm liking how they have lights on the inside. Like, it looks like it's a party. Yeah, it looks like there's a party in the roller coaster. That is a new ride like innovation because it smells like Jolly Ranchers and I love that. Like can you imagine? Like that's the perfect thing for this part. Now if they can only like duplicate that for like the other rides that would be, I mean Jolly Rancher is really easy but smelling peanut butter and like a, a Reese's Cup ride or like chocolate, I mean that's, but that is so amazing. I love it so much. Once you get done with the ride you get to meet Jolly Rancher himself. Hello! How are you? Are you remixing? You are remixing. Yeah, you're remixing! <laughs> Thank you! I love it! See ya, pal! <laughs> I came over here because I just want to smell the Jolly Rancher! That is too good! Talk about more amazing food. Spring Creek Smokehouse. Look at this down here. They literally have the smokers just chilling out right outside here. This is what Pennsylvania theme parks are all about. I love the food whenever you get to come up here and I can't wait to make it over to Knoebels. There are so many amazing things that I wanna go make videos at. They got the brisket, they got the ribs, they've got the mac and cheese, a little bit of everything. But I think we have plans for dinner later and I'm gonna have to hold off. Even though I want that brisket sandwich. Put that brisket sandwich down. Now we gotta cross the bridge here. Bon Bon's sitting here feeding the ducks. You feeding the ducks? Oh, what are you staring at, swan? <laughs> Look at these guys, that's not no duck. Oh, there's a duck. Another really cool thing I wanna point out about Hershey Park, it's actually a zoo and an aquarium. So you can actually, it's Zoo America here and the zoo is fantastic and they actually have a aquatic theater where they have sea lion shows. And I think that's so cool because it's a one-stop theme park. Looks like the last show just started, but I think we might be able to squeeze in real quick and just take a peek see. Really excellent job. Well, play behavior is Look at here's the sea lions. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit, but that is really cool. We caught the last show in the last like five minutes, and I just love it. Oh wow, take a look at this. We got to see Jolly Rancher earlier, and now we get to see Miss Twizzler. Hi, sweet friend. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, good. I had to come say hi. Yes, how are you? Are you doing well? Twiz-tastic? Or was Twiz the night? Twiz-tastic, I like it. Very fancy. That was so awesome. We got to see Jolly Rancher and Miss Twizzler. So I hope that we can catch Reese's Peanut Butter Cup out. I'd love to get my photo with him. I think we've done enough roller coasters for the time being. So I think we're gonna try to go find the Coal Cracker, which is my sister's favorite ride. And then maybe the sky view here, we actually get to go up and kind of just get a good grand view of the park. All right, here we are, the Coal Cracker. This is Bon Bon's favorite ride. You love it, huh? I do. I think we might get a little wet. Just a tea bit. Just a tea bit? Just a tea bit. The Coal Cracker is like a boat water coaster ride. Like, it's really, really fun. 
Hop on in. I'm getting the front. <laughs> oh boy, it's soaked in here. <laughs> I have a funny feeling I might end up a soggy bottom boy on this ride. I don't think so. Yeah, I might. Also, did you guys notice Bonnie's wearing a cool Lost Bro shirt? Mr. Mickey Waffle. Oh boy, here we go. This is a really, really fun ride. Look at the spider webs right there. Oh my lord. We're going to be actually going underneath Great Bear too. Great Bear is one of the first thrill rides or like thrill roller coaster rides I've ever been on. Oh look, there's the drop right there. Can you see it? We're going all the way up. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's so peaceful. It's a very peaceful ride. Look at this though. Oh, I love it. Oh, we might catch the super duper looper hitting the super duper loop. Oh, coming in hot. <laughs> Hang on, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, there goes the cardinal. The cardinal? The cardinal. Oh, our cardinal. Our cardinal. Oh, wait, we're going up again. We're going up another one. Oh, boy. And I didn't know they were dual sided because it looks like they're dropping on both sides there. Really? Yeah. Oh boy. Ah, ah, oh, I got soaked. I got soaked right there. We're coming up on the big drop though. I didn't get soaked. Here it comes. Oh boy. Here we go. Here it goes. Ah, 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 oh. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> ooh, ooh, I got airtime. I literally got airtime on that. Ooh. That was so much fun. You don't get wet though. No like, soggy bottom boy. No soggy bottom boy. But when you drop, like you come up, like it lifts you up. Yep. I gotta show you. Maybe I can show you here. You can watch when you get the airtime. Watch. It should be happening any second. Here you go. Look at that. Now that we have officially survived the coal cracker, which only I just got a little water on my glasses, I think that's really awesome. No wet, no nothing. Uh, we're going to find something else to ride. Here is a good look at the park at a hole, and we are right here. And I was thinking since we're over here, maybe we'd go on the Hershey Kiss Tower, which is uh, kind of like a scenic ride, but you're in a gigantic Hershey Kiss. And they also have a water park, the Boardwalk at Hershey Park. Now, I don't know if we'll have time to make it over there, but this park is just massive. They have so many different things. Oh, what about Lightning Racer? We should end up over there, too. There's so much to do. So much to do with all this time. <laughs> all right, let's go up into the Hershey Kiss Tower, so that way we can show you what the park looks like from up there. It is really beautiful. Might be a little scary, especially if you're afraid of heights. And here it is, the kissing tower. We're gonna go all the way up. Oh, you can't see because of that tree there. Let me step to the side. All the way up. Wait a second, I don't want to go on the kissing tower with my sister. <laughs> there is legit a sign that says kissing is allowed, but no food and drinks or smoking. Kissing is allowed, but please, no food, drinks, or smoking beyond this point. It's hard to smooch with your mouth full. <laughs> Here it is. We're inside the kiss. <laughs> oh, it's nice and AC'd. I'm going to have to get some facts and let you know how like, high this goes. Not only do we go up, but I think we spin too. But we go up. Oh, here we go. For your safety, please remain seated during the ride and refrain from sitting or leaning on the doors of the Smoking is not Thank you. And enjoy your ride. The Kissing Tower is 330 feet high. 330 feet high. Oh boy. 
There was no smooching happening here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we always try to come up with a plan of things, but when you get off and then you see there's no line, you kind of just got to go for it. And for me, I really want to ride the classic cars. For real, we just got off the kissing tower, and then I come right on over here. Classic cars, presented by Sunoco. <laughs> it's such a fun classic ride. I got to do it. I don't know why, I just love riding the antique cars and it's so nice, it's so beautiful, the scenic view. I like, I like the antique cars better than the, the race cars that they have on the other side. Oh, here comes my chariot. I think that one's mine. Or is that one? Bonnie, you're getting the blue one. Okay. Oh, I'm getting this one. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. You gotta press on the pedal. Oh, going to, oh! Ooh, it takes off! <laughs> Look at this! Gotta stop and get some uh, gas at the uh, Sunoco Service Plaza, Turkey Hill. Bonnie's all the way back there. Oh, there she is! Coming up on the turnpike. <laughs> oh, oh, gotta hang on. Use both hands at all times. These, these Pennsylvania roads are full of potholes. You gotta hand. Uh, you gotta be very careful here. I love this so much though, seriously. <laughs> See, I like it better than those cars right there. I like the classic. Uh-oh, falling rocks. Bonnie, come on, catch up. Catch up, Bonnie. Oh. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. We got a sign ahead for Lancaster or Lancaster. And uh, we're going to be making a trip there probably on this uh, road trip up north. I got my eye on you, Bonnie. I'm going to let her catch up a little bit. No bumping. No bumping. No bumping. <laughs> Get your motor rolling. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. Oh, I think it's coming to an end here, Bonnie. We're coming in slow. Look at these beautiful pine trees. Be prepared to stop. Coming in slow, 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 slow. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Even though I know we have dinner plans a little bit later on, and like I said, I'm excited for that. Like all the amazing chocolate flavored food items, I kind of am in the mood for a snack. And they have hand rolled pretzels here. So I think I might get myself a pretzel. A little pretzel pretzel. Look at all the different pretzel flavors they have. They have original garlic, parmesan, jalapeno, cinnamon raisin, cinnamon sugar, chocolate chip. Like that's crazy. I didn't even know there was pretzel flavors like that. I think I'm gonna go with the original. Bon Bon's gonna get the chocolate chip, but I have to get the original. You gotta try the original first. It's so funny because they put the pretzels in little white bags. And of course, that go-to theme park drink, lemonade. Water with a whole half a lemon in there. That's classic. Gotta get that great lemon water. 
That's so good, actually, though. Like, I kind of knock on it, but it's good. Enough of the lemon water. Let's get to the pretzel business. Oh, my Lord, it's so soft. It feels so weird. Oh, no. I almost lost it there, but wow. These pretzels literally feel so, like, strange. They're definitely very buttery, though. That's good. Oh, that is good pretzel right there. I am so impressed with this pretzel right here. I like it a lot. It's way better than a Mickey pretzel. But, I mean, Mickey pretzels aren't the best. I mean, it's not as good as uh, the Hangar Bar charcuterie pretzel. That's my all-time favorite, but it is good. Even though I like my pretzel, I really want to try Bonnie's chocolate chip pretzel. Break me off a piece of that chocolate chip pretzel. Wow, look at that. I pick, I, I chose wrong. You chose right, I have to say. I did, <laughs> and you know it. You're smiling. Can you break me off a piece of that pretzel now? <laughs> oh yeah, oh boy. Much too, oh, look at that. I honestly, I should have got the chocolate chip or I should have got the garlic one. Wow. Sweet, savory, not savory, salty. Sweet, salty, that's the way. Now that the pretzel business is taken care of, it's time to hop on the sky view and go for a little scenic tour. Ooh, monorail. Look at, you called that one, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm low-key scared right now. I am just a little bit, I'm a little bit scared. I don't know why. Maybe it's the height. Uh, it's not like the Disney Skyliner. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. All of the carts are actually different uh, Hershey's candy bars. So that's the classic milk chocolate. And then the, uh, the Hershey Kiss is coming around the corner. Ooh, dispenser empty text us. That is really cool. HP help, I love that. Oh, see, that's the Hershey Kiss one. Oh boy, Bond, we're gonna miss ourselves. Here we go. Oh, oh my lord. Here we go. There we go. Oh boy, Bonnie. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, Bonnie was like, let's ride. Like, Bonnie was like, let's ride separate. And I just ran in and hopped in with her. <laughs> I did. <laughs> we're all the way up, though. Look at us up here. If we get stuck. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look, you get to see the Great Bear. A nice scenic little uh, sky view here. Park looks very busy. Comet has a long line right there. I like this. This is nice. They have a little teacups happening over there, a teacup action. Also, take a look at that sign over there. Dark nights are coming this September. Don't Follow don't along don't. at HersheyPark.com. Dark nights. That guy's got his feet. He's got his feet out. He's got his shoes off. I should have done that. <laughs> it is really crazy how close you get to the roller coaster when you're riding the sky view. Like, wait till you see it come flying by us. We're starting to make our way back down. Oh, look, here comes the bear. The reason they call it the Great Bear is because it sounds like a bear. I feel a little bit safe right now because we're above the water. And if we fell at this height into the water, I don't think we would die. I'm pretty sure we would survive a fall into this water. I don't know though, the geese might attack us. Look at this, here comes the Great Bear, like I said. Look how close we are to it. Oh boy, it's coming for that big loop. <laughs> now that we actually got out of the sky view i think we're gonna make our way down to lightning racer which is a dual-sided wooden roller coaster it's a racing roller coaster it's one of my all-time favorites and we're gonna see if we can ride that i love it though it is so cool and uh hopefully we can dodge any rain that might be coming because it does look a little gloomy out a little bit and here it is lightning racer doesn't seem like there's a line either now do you choose a side yeah. Which side should we choose? Uh, right now we gotta figure out, right or left? Oh, we're doing thunder? Yep. 
All right, we're gonna go to we're gonna do thunder because they have lightning and thunder. This is where you gotta choose lightning or thunder. 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 Front row. Yep. We're gonna actually race each other. So you're going lightning, right? And I'm going to thunder side. This is gonna be exciting. I love the fact that we're both gonna do front row and we're both gonna be racing each other. Like this is really fun. Yeah, I know it is. Such a wild ride, but I think Bon Bon beat us. Like she did just by a little bit. Like you literally dual race. Bonnie officially won the lightning race. It was close though. Very close. Yep, now it's time to eat at the Chocolatier. Yep. The Chocolatier, the time we have been waiting for. This restaurant was just opening up the last time I visited here, so I wasn't able to dine, and I am so excited that it's open and I get to do it today. I get to try it. This restaurant is so awesome, and it has an open kitchen so you can watch as they prepare your food. I don't know what they serve in this Ferris wheel, like this Hershey Park Ferris wheel, but I think I need to get it. Like, I don't even know what they put in there. I like it. Oh, you can actually see them putting one together right now. It looks like it's like a sampler. And I just love the, the, the theming in here. It's so beautiful. You can sit in like what looks like to be like a carousel or a uh, Ferris wheel, like ride vehicle. This is really cool. They actually have outdoor and indoor seating and the outdoor area is beautiful because you get to see all the roller coasters going around and also they actually have cornhole. Look at this out here. Little cornhole playing area there and then all of the uh, roller coasters. Look at Bonnie. She's like trying not to get in the shop but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Take a look at this menu. Anything that has the C on the side of it means it's chocolate infused. So for instance, the Reese's peanut butter hummus or the jumbo chicken wings have a Hershey's chocolate barbecue sauce. That is so awesome. And then here's that Ferris wheel that I was talking about that I saw. It's Hershey's chocolate barbecue chicken wings, crispy mozzarella, classic chicken tenders, buffalo chicken dip, and soft pretzel dips for $38.25. But they have so many different menu items with chocolate in them. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna to wanna to order everything. Not only do they have chocolate infused food, but they have chocolate infused cocktails. They've got the chocolatier martini, the Reese's Cup Fusion Old Fashioned. Oh my Lord. I think I might be getting that old fashioned. I feel, I, I feel really drawn to it. They also have a Jolly Rancher watermelon cocktail. Oh, oh, there's so many good things happening right now. I put in an order to get the Ferris wheel because I definitely feel like that is a must. But now I'm looking over the menu and they have a Reese's peanut butter crunch burger. And that is just blowing my mind. And I'm kind of interested in that. But at the same time, the Coco Dusted Beef Short Ribs actually has a chocolate porter reduction. Like, this is a lot. The prices are not that bad. The Reese's Peanut Butter Crunch Burger is $18. It's toasted peanuts, shallot jam, cocoa spice sweet potato straws, and then the uh, Beef Short Ribs is uh, $30. And that one is with Yukon Gold Potatoes, Hershey's Cocoa Dusted Baby Carrots, and Chocolate Porter Reduction topped with I have no idea what that is, <laughs> but 30 bucks, that's not a bad deal. Oh 
holy moly, they just brought out the Ferris wheel, and I was not expecting it to be this big. I was like, wait, it's $38, and I mean, it's like getting five different appetizers, but they give you so much. You got the buffalo chicken dip, you got the fried mozzarella here, you got the chicken tendies here, then you've got the barbecue chicken wings, and these uh, barbecue chicken wings are the chocolate barbecue sauce. Some pretzel bites and then chips for the dip. So that is definitely worth the price. I'm going for the chicken wings first, and you can actually smell the chocolate. Like you can smell the chocolate before you even eat it, and I am so excited. Here we go, we're going in. I'm gonna take this, break that off, one bite right down the center. That's too good. <laughs> it is truly amazing because you can really smell the chocolate but you can't taste it like that strong it's not overpowering it's 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 literally the perfect balance now we're gonna dive into these little pretzel bites hmm. oh yeah the only thing i'm a little disappointed in is the fact that it actually doesn't rotate <laughs> it doesn't swing down and down but we are gonna grab a little chicken tendy here i don't think the chicken tenders are chocolate infused but i mean might as well as we are sitting here eating our ferris wheel our drinks came and take a look at the reese's cup fusion old-fashioned i am in love with this it actually has a reese's peanut butter cup in there this is so good and then bon bon she actually got a watermelon jolly rancher drink i don't know what's in it but i'll have to look the reese's cup fusion old fashion is screwball peanut butter whiskey templeton rye whiskey luxo cherries and then a reese's peanut butter cup i'm gonna try it right now that's good very smooth, a nice balance. And Bonnie's is actually Old Smoky Sour Watermelon Moonshine. Bonnie, you gonna have some moonshine? I guess so. <laughs> I gotta see a sip on that moonshine. Is it strong? No. I really have to say, I love this old fashioned. Like, it is really awesome. And I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter drinks because I feel like it might be, like sometimes it's overpowering, but not this. <laughs> Not this. The bartender said you should bite the Reese's cup and then put it back in and swirl it around to add a little extra flavor. So I kindly did so. And Bonnie's drink actually has crushed Jolly Ranchers on the rim. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. That is so crazy. And a slice of watermelon. <laughs> Let's talk about the Ferris wheel, and I have to say, I did try a little bit of everything, including the buffalo chicken dip, but my favorite thing was probably the chicken wings and the pretzel bites. The chicken tendies were good too, though. They were, there was like a very flaky uh, like batter that they had to it. And for my entree, I went with the short ribs and the peanut butter burger because I need to try it. I got the short ribs as a backup because I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but I, it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. You gotta try it. Now the Ferris wheel is gone and the food is here and holy moly, this looks amazing. First up, we've got the beef short ribs with the chocolate porter reduction and the cocoa dust on there and the little baby carrots. Bon Bon's got the cocoa dusted New York strip steak with broccolini and I think you also got that uh, porter reduction on there as well. And then here is the Reese's peanut butter burger. And look, it has a peanut butter cup on top. This looks unbelievably amazing. Everything does, holy moly. Seriously, all of this food just looks out of this world. I am so impressed. And uh, we got the burger. We're gonna split the burger because we have to try it. And Bonnie got the strip steak, like I said, and I got the short ribs. And I kind of want to try a little bit of hers, and she wants to try a little bit of mine. So we're just gonna sample away. All right, here we go. We're gonna cut the burger. I'm gonna cut right through the Reese peanut butter cup too. Here we go. 
first bite, but look inside that burger there. So much happening. A peanut butter, a peanut butter hamburger here. And I'm gonna get that peanut, peanut butter cup at the top here. Honestly, overall, the burger is good. Like it's it's a it's a really well cooked burger. I don't know how the peanut butter cup really ties into there. I do love the shallot and I love the onion straws. I mean, it's a, it's a good it's it's really good. It's really enjoyable. It almost tastes like hash browns on the burger. What do you think of the burger bun? It's very good. It's very good. Very good. I love the peanut butter with like the peanuts. On it. Yeah, it's like peanut butter like sauce on there. It has yeah. it has peanuts on it. I'm sure you can't wait to dive into that though. Look at that. You see it? I'm glad that I got like I got it to try, but now I want to get to the short ribs. It's time for the short rib business, but one more bite. Alright, let's get into this short rib business here. A little short rib, a little mashed potatoes, all in one bite. And now it's time. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Bonnie's gonna give me some of her steak here. A little too overcooked for me. A little too overcooked. Bonnie likes hers medium well. You know I like mine Pittsburgh style, right? I like it. I like a Pittsburgh. So I like it charred on the outside with a nice red center. That's the way. But we're still gonna give it a go here. Mm. If I was to choose, I think I would take mine. I like it. It's so soft, the potatoes are good. The sauce is good. Your sauce is different. Yeah, you have more of like a steak sauce. Mine's more of a quarter reduction. I think I'm throwing in the towel though. I'm, I'm whooped. Too much food now. And I'm sure they have amazing desserts. I've seen their milkshakes. Those looked amazing too, but I'm done. I'm kicked. It was a good meal. I have another bite. Yep, Bonnie, Bonnie agrees. The mashed potatoes were banging. Yep. And with that, I think we are done here. I am so excited to be back in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna spend time with my family. I'm sure you'll see mom soon. We're gonna do a lot more theme parks, some new theme parks that I've never been to, some of the ones that I love going to. And we're just gonna have a little vacation and a nice little uh, trip up north. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and this restaurant was fantastic. Maybe we might actually come back to Hershey. Like, maybe there might be another Hershey day. So who knows? Anywho's, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! I planned on stopping to do Hershey's Chocolate World on the way out, but it closed today at six o'clock. It closed before the park closed. So, I think we're definitely gonna be back at Hershey.